820 Naval Air Squadron has been putting flight deck crews through a series of drills and procedures that are part of flying trials. During the two days embarked the Merlin was used to verify many of the flight deck and hangar facilities by connecting up to the ship's onboard electrical supply cables and refueling hoses Lt. Commander Jim Cobbett said. The Merlins of 820 NASA are old friends of ours. The squadron was the first Rotaris unit to embark with us up in Scotland when we came out of build. These sea acceptance trials, air, or sat, air, has proved the ship's aircraft services are ready for action with a live helicopter and that everything functions correctly. HMS Queen Elizabeth will sail from her home port for rotary wing trial at sea in the coming weeks, where she will undergo deck trials with Royal Navy Merlin helicopters. LT Commander Combat continued. Introducing the ship to aviation and aviation to the ship is all part of the learning structure we are going through. We are taking it slowly at first before we embark whole squadrons of rotary and fixed-wing aircraft, HMS Queen Elizabeth is expected to start fixed-wing flight trials with three or more F-35Bs off the eastern coast of the US around September this year. A fantastic infographic created by Save the Royal Navy can be found here and details the timeline of the program. In order to prepare for operating from HMS Queen Elizabeth, Royal Navy sailors have also trained alongside their US Navy counterparts on the flight deck of the amphibious assault ship USS Wasp. Last year, the Royal Navy sent six sailors to integrate into Wasp's flight deck operations to prepare them for their upcoming Queen Elizabeth-class aircraft carriers. Royal Navy sailor Richard Clark said, Living with one another is good for integration, so when we work together, when we have your aircraft come to our flight decks, and vice versa, we'll have a bit more awareness of how we each operate. It helps us work with you better on different platforms when we need to. This is the first group of guys who are not first classes. Some of them have never been on a ship before, so for the younger guys, it's good for them to get experience. Recent F-35 trials aboard the USS Wasp were not just an operational test for the United States Marine Corps, with much of the data produced being used to inform the USMC's declaration of initial operating capability but also for the United Kingdom. UK personnel were fully embedded in the USS Wasp trials and will use the data gathered from this event, future trials and operational deployments to support the UK's flying trials aboard HMS Queen Elizabeth off the US coast in spring next year.